Hey everyone, Randy Dawn and a Marathon Coach. I think Randy's downstairs. We're going to be leaving for Florida on Saturday, catching a flight down there, and then uh, driving a coach back. I think we're going to try and stop in um, by Lake Erie um, at the Harside Grove there, and then head on up to uh, Petoskey. So we're excited to get going, and let me see if I can find him. Um, let's take a walk. I'm pretty sure he is probably downstairs uh, by the Tahoe, which is what we usually tow, and uh, getting things ready. Let's see if we can find him. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Hey, Randy. Hey, yeah. Hey. hey. We're doing our video. I thought this would be a good oh. one since you're getting ready. Yeah, I'm just getting ah. ready. We're, we're finally going to get back on the road. So yes. just kind of going over all the stuff that we normally take with us, the essentials, the, the tool stuff that I like to take. So yeah. maybe I could show everyone just a little bit of what I what I, what I I like to take along. Okay. Which Let's... maybe some people are going to think I'm crazy, and I'd love to hear back from some people and let me know. Yeah, put your so, comments on here and let us yeah. know what you can't leave home without. What do you have yeah. there? Well, you know, I got the basic tools, your channel locks, your screwdrivers, your pliers, and all that stuff. But some of the other stuff that I like to take along, um, I like to take ratchet straps along. And, and the main reason, you know, I've RV'd for a lot of years and I've lost some awnings in my days. And sometimes when you're on the highway and all you gotta do is strap that thing up to get to the next stop, these ratchet straps are awesome just to whether it's a, a door or a bumper that comes loose or anything else, that these are awesome for just ratcheting something back on. So I carry about four of these. Okay. Um, another thing That's I love to, to carry, and you're probably thinking, why a vice grip? Well, these buses are full of airlines, and you, when your airlines, you, when you get a leak, of course you you your bus is going to lock up because of the air brakes. So if you can, and I've had it before where the, the line underneath my driver's seat came loose, and I was able to just bend it over and take a vice grip and, and pinch it. So it stopped leaking until I could get somewhere to get the, get the seat fixed. So You're kind of like Tim the Tool Man. Well, kind of. After so many years, you kind of, <laughs> you kind of know what you need. And of course, like every guy needs, it, duct tape. You know, you Jeez. always need a roll of duct tape. <laughs> of course. Um, I also like to carry just in case you got to clamp something, you know, I like to carry these. Okay. Um, a voltmeter is something that's that's always nice to have. Now, if you're Let's not experienced, take a look at that. if you're not experienced, you know I have an electrical background, but you know sometimes you have fuses that and uh, that blow, and maybe you're talking to someone at Marathon Service and they say, hey, just test that fuse, or is there DC there, or whatever. So it's always good to have a voltmeter. Okay. Um, another thing I like to carry is a screw bend. Um, this is a little excess, but you know, I've got all the different terminals and then underneath I've got some bolts and nuts and stuff cool. like that. Um, it's like then, a jewelry box. It's like a jewelry box. Yeah. <laughs> Except not. Yeah. You wouldn't want to wear any of those. <laughs> so you could start a new trend. Um, and then a jump box. I love to take a jump box. I know it's kind of heavy and maybe to a lot of people it's bulky, but Don and I, we had it one oh, time where we were locked out of our coach. Locked out. Not locked a good out. feeling. Yeah. So we relied on the, the keypad to get in all the time. Didn't take the keys out, of course, or I had a spare one. So there we were stuck because yes. the, the battery went dead. So with the jump box, you hook it up to the, to the, uh, to the start batteries and it gives it just enough power that the keypad works. So, um, so that's kind of what I like to, so those are the tools that I generally take along on the road. So, uh, if you got any suggestions, let us know. Well, Hey, we, we hope you found this video, um, somewhat interesting and informative for you. Yeah. Um, Guys find it interesting. Women probably find it very boring. But you know, a lot of my friends like tools and yeah, things. So. Yeah, that's true. It's so. not all bad. And it's you know, bad. when we're stranded, you love tools because they save the day. So, yeah. yeah. So. so yeah, and we just want to give a shout out to everyone. We want to thank you for watching us and be just being our viewers. We just love that. Yeah. We think it's amazing, and um, we love just reaching out to everyone. So thank you, thank you for yeah. giving us a shot. And we're excited to get back on the road. We'll be we grabbing Coach 1201, which is a quad. Yes. Great yes. pre-owned quad coach. So uh, if you're in the market and ready to hit the road also, give us a call. Uh, we'll be heading up to Petoskey. So we'll give you, hopefully next week, you'll see some footage of us on the road, uh, traveling this great, great country that we have and making a few stops on the way up. And then about a week ago, we'll be up in Petoskey. So, yes. And as of today, the governor of Michigan has opened everything up. So we're super a excited. Few restrictions, a few restrictions. But yeah. we're way ahead of where we thought yeah. we'd be. So we're super excited that it's going to be a great summer up north. So much to do, so many things to say. So keep watching Randy Dawn in a Marathon Coach.